I was really pleased with that actually. I'm on my uh, a horse that's always been in, in my second in command, Zeon, and it's his first major championship. The class is huge, 25 in the class, and uh, me and Ricky Balshaw were talking, and we thought any of any probably six or seven riders could have been in the in the winning position, not gold medal winning position today, but the winning position. So. I was pleased with 74 in second place and then when it was verified at 77 point something and first place, yeah, it's uh, it's been a battle to come back. I didn't make the Europeans last year and obviously London didn't quite go to plan, but I'm not getting overly excited because I, uh, I did very well in the warm-up in team test in London and it was the championship test in the freestyle that we that we, we didn't gain the gold medals. So um, I'm still staying calm and reserved. Um, Zion was brilliant. He was quite intimidated with all the volunteers in the plastic ponchos. Um, but, and he went to Spook and didn't really want to go around the arena. But I, would, I do a lot of hacking with him on my own and with, with my grooms. And I go into open moors and do gallop work. I go into the cities and we have buses passing us and everything. And I think that's really paid off today that he went, Daddy, I don't like this environment, but he stuck with me. And the trot work was on fire. He was like, look, everybody, how much I can bling and be have cadence and be expressive and and his walk has always uh, been a bit precarious and then because of the environment he just got a little bit tight in the walk at times um, so hopefully Wednesday he'll be more settled and not only for you but Ricky went well today great start for Team GB yeah I think Ricky's a little bit disappointed with, with his score his horse just tripped a few times in the arena and I think I think the horse jogged um, <laughs> Yeah, two great scores. Uh, Ricky's going as an individual, so he said he can experiment today and then make changes that he needs to do uh, for Wednesday and Friday for us. Um, but hopefully, yeah, my fellow team members, Sophie Christensen, Natasha Baker and Sophie Wells are pleased with the with the score that, uh, that I've, I've thrown down and it's up to them tomorrow now. But we never, none of us want to be on the, the power equestrian uh, GB team that, that that loses the gold medal winning position. Uh, hopefully I'll be retired in the future when that happens. And brilliant for the sport as well being here. I mean this is the biggest stage that para dressage has ever had isn't it? Yeah I mean obviously it, it's our second world equestrian games we were in Kentucky um, but I think it's been more promoted the, the, the Paralympic uh, para equestrian sport here and I don't think any of the disciplines have had um, big numbers uh, of, of spectators because of the weather and of, of, it's not the it's not the big test uh, the big test yet so the big classes so I think hopefully as the week goes on and obviously it's not just numbers in seats it's the promotion that you guys have given and all the other media here uh, the more that public sees um, Paralympic sport and, and power question the more that they kind of un can understand it and appreciate it and hopefully enjoy it.